ready. All right. What's going on, everybody? Steven here from Sequest with today's Flip Chart Friday. We record these live every Friday, 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We do it live, so make sure you're watching when you're live so that you can ask questions uh, at the end of this. If any of you have questions that you posted up low, who's behind the camera will read them off to me and we'll get them answered for you. So today we're gonna talk about calendaring your marketing so that you can win. Um, most of you that run businesses, actually all of you that run businesses know how important processes are and consistency are. And in marketing, it's no different. I get questions all the time about like, oh my gosh, what do I do? How often do I do this? How often do I post? How often do I use social media? How often do I write a blog? How often do I add content? How often do I do video? The list goes on and on and on. So today I wanted to address something really, really simple that we do and that I've given a lot of people as advice and it works really, really well. It's really simple and it's really straightforward. So, but don't let that, don't let that discount the method of how easy it is because for the most dangerous words in the world are, I already know that, but a lot of times we don't actually do it. So calendar your marketing and when. The issue with most marketing is that is not that we need more ideas. There's not this ma this major, really cool silver bullet marketing idea that's sitting out there that we just haven't found yet. It just doesn't exist. Now there's always gonna be cool new platforms and new social media and new things that are happening with Google and new website options, but there's really no one secret magic silver bullet out there that you don't already know about. So it's not from a lack of ideas that we have, it's just a lot of times a lack of consistently doing the things that work and consistently doing the things that you personally are really good at and have a talent for. So it's consistency that's crucial. Again, do not discount how easy this is because I promise you it works. So here's the, here's the quick path. Um, number one, figure out what's working now. Is if there's anything in your business that is giving you an ROI right now, and just to take half a step back, you know, I'm gonna talk primarily about things that you, the owner, the marketing director, or somebody within the business can do, not necessarily things that you should be doing, such as like SEO and pay-per-click and um, other paid media and other organic media. So I'm not quite talking about that. This can go in conjunction with that, but uh, you do wanna make sure you have a really good solid plan in place for all of those things. So what's working right now? So what's something that you're doing right now that's working really well? Did you send out an email blast and you got a good result from that? You got a good number of clients that signed up for the deal or use the coupon code, whatever it is. Is it yard signs? Is it client testimonial videos and pictures that you're posting on social media? Go through the list of some things that you're doing right now that are working really well, and chances are, if you're asking these questions of what can I do better in my marketing, or you're looking for some other idea, you're probably not doing the ones that are working consistently. So at the end of this, you'll find out, or I'll share with you a way to like do it consistently, really simple. Uh, based on what it is that you're doing that's working right now, and the next thing we wanna talk about is what are your strengths? So all of us have different strengths. For example, I don't mind being on video and I'm terrible at writing. Like you'll, 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 you will rarely, if I could talk on video, uh, you will rarely ever see me write a thousand or 2000 word, very comprehensive blog post or email. It's just not my style. It's not what I'm great at. I'm not an effective communicator when it comes to the written word nor do I like it, I actually, I actually hate it. So figuring out what you're good at, what is the, the platform that you're really good at? Are you a better writer? Are you better at, or if you are a better writer, are you better at writing long form stuff? You better at writing big blogs or helpful kind of FAQ, how to type things, or maybe you're better at writing really short, concise things like email. Maybe you're an effective communicator via email. Um, but find out what that thing is that you're really good at, or I guess, yeah, like 
like video. Are you really good at video? Are you really good at talking? Are you really good at ad-libbing? And connecting with people through the medium of video. So figure out what it is that you're really good at, and then you can start to figure out what this thing is or this couple things are that you need to be doing consistently that will start to pay off for you. So if you're good at writing things like uh, email communication, writing FAQs, writing blog posts, if you're good at video, things like YouTube videos, tutorials, how to, really educating your potential clients and your existing clients on all of the things that you're great at because you are an expert in your industry, you need to be educating people on that. If you're good at video, another thing is just like this, we're recording this on Facebook Live. So if you're good at kind of off the cuff video and just showcasing what it is that you're up to, great, a great avenue would be social media, primarily like Facebook Live right now, maybe Instagram Live if you're building up that following. Instagram's gonna be big in, I don't know, the next year or so probably for home service industry, but uh, so it's not a bad place to start focusing on. So again, figure out what exactly it is that you're amazing at and then figure out those platforms that you can use to deliver those things that you're amazing at. Um, a lot of people, when I go through this with them, they're like, oh yeah, that's great in theory and all, and I see people doing that, and I see that it's working really well, but I'm not really an expert in anything. If you're watching this video, I promise you are an expert at something. Whether you're the owner of the company, the manager, whether you're a CSR, whether you're answering the phones, I mean, whatever it is, you are an expert at something and you do have value to add. So don't sell yourself short figure out what that expertise is that you can communicate and add value to your current clients and potential clients. So we figured out what's working now. We figured out what your strengths are or how you best communicate. And we've remembered that you are an expert. Again, I'll repeat it. I promise you are an expert. Uh, the last thing is calendar and commit it. This is really, really simple, but yet this step is the easiest thing to do and it's also the easiest thing not to do and this is where this type of marketing fails. You have a really good idea, you get all excited about it, you buy a new microphone, you get a tripod to put your camera on, start recording video, you record the first couple videos and then nothing happens. You don't get enough likes on Facebook, you don't get enough shares, you don't get enough um, you know, engagement on that, whatever it is. So you stop, you get busy, you got stuff to do, you're running a business and you quit doing it and throw the whole idea by the wayside and say, well, you know, that didn't really work for me because it wasn't consistent. So what I would encourage you to do is this. If, you're, if your strength is content writing, I would write about once a week and that could be a really long form post on the site, it could be a long form post that you put on social media, it could be an email. You can email up to about once a week without driving people crazy, but it has to be really good, unique content and it's really gotta educate people. So you really wanna make sure if you're going down the writing path that you are a very good communicator uh, in the written word. Video, so there's, there's kind of two types of video. There's the educational type of video that's gonna be a little bit more in depth. It might even require you having somebody cut the video, which you can find on Craigslist for super cheap. Uh, you don't wanna get real complicated with this, but remember, you're an expert at something. So if you own a plumbing company, do a quick video on how to, how to check why your, your drain is, uh, why you have a slow drain give them some action items so that they can try to identify the problem and maybe a couple little solutions for potentially fixing it, but be the expert, be the person that's sharing your expertise and your knowledge to help them identify, maybe fix, but then when they can't fix it, they contact you because you're the expert adding all this advice. So anyway, for longer form video content in the education sense, about once a month is pretty good because that video, you can push it out weekly on social media, you can post it on YouTube, you can use it in your email marketing, uh, you can use it for SEO, you can optimize it. So once a month is pretty good, plus it's pretty big content. So you wanna make sure that you do a really good job of presenting that content and making sure that everything is accurate, you have good video, you have good audio, all that kind of stuff. So about once a month for that. Then you have video on social. So we live in this amazing world. I mean, we can go live 
right now to thousands of people on Facebook, on Instagram, and even on a lot of the other social media platforms, they have it. But for most of our clientele, Facebook Live is gonna be the best. It has the biggest audience. If you're gonna do social media video, you can do anywhere from about two to five times a week. That might sound like a lot, but it's really not. They only need to be a couple minutes long. It just needs to be about what are you up to, what's going on in your business, somebody that you help solve a problem for them, maybe throw up a video client testimonial or do a quick interview with somebody about why they liked your service so much. So two to five times a week is pretty good because as soon as you go live, that video is gone from your newsfeed within you know, 24 to 48 hours, really after that, nobody's gonna see it. So you've gotta keep putting new content up quite a bit if you're gonna go the video social media route. Lastly, calendar and commit to it. That's the biggest thing. What I would suggest is figure out all of these pieces, figure out, even just start with one action item that you're gonna do and commit to it for 60 days. If you're gonna do Facebook Live videos, great. Calendar one in every couple days, throw it in your actual calendar and don't miss it because you're gonna lose the momentum, you're gonna give up too early and don't worry about how many likes you get, how many views you get. Don't worry about any of that stuff. None of that matters initially. The biggest thing initially is that you get started and create the habit and create the consistency. Then once you do that, you can start to see what are people liking, what are people responding to, and then you can start tailoring your message to that. But if you don't do this consistently, it's not gonna work and you're never gonna know it if it if it is gonna work for your business or not. So calendar it in, do it for at least 60 days, and then evaluate what's working, what type of content worked, you know, what type of email marketing worked, what type of uh, blog or FAQ content worked, then you can really evaluate it. But for 60 days, calendar it in, stick to it and do it. And I promise you, you're gonna find a lot of amazing things in those results. Might not bring you a ton of clients right away, but it's gonna create a lot of different habits. It's gonna give you a lot of different feedback and it's going to put you on the path for success in marketing. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, Low, are there any questions that we? No questions. All post right. your comment, post in your questions in the comments below. Cool, so post your questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. If you don't wanna ask the question publicly, shoot it to me in a private message. Be happy to answer it. But go forth this weekend, take this advice. I promise you it works. Commit to at least one thing for 60 days and let me know at the end of 60 days if it works because like I said, I promise it will. It's worked for every single person that I've ever given this advice to that has followed through on it. So I'm Steven with Sequist, Flip Chart Friday. Hope you have a fantastic weekend.